Okay, in this problem, we look at some, uh, going to use different um, properties of this circle uh, to solve it. And so you're given that arc DE is 142. And I, I like to just go ahead and, you know, plug everything in as you go. Uh, and then you're given angle BCD is 34. And so that would be 34. So now we need to use things we know. And the first thing I always look for are diameters, because diameters um, tell us things about 180 degree arcs and so CD is a diameter um, because it goes through A and it's circle A which means that CE plus 142 adds up to 180 so 180 minus 142 is just 38 um, and so right now that looks like about all we can do with that diameter there's some other things we'll be able to do uh, we can also recognize that this is a right angle because if we ever have a triangle that has endpoints on the diameter so triangle BCD then it's a right triangle. We also look for inscribed angles, and so 34 is an inscribed angle, which means this arc is 68. Um, if this arc is 68, now the fact that this is a diameter helps us again, and so we do 180 minus 68 to get 112. And then this angle, uh, that arc there is 38, and so half of that arc is going to be 19. And um, now, because this is 54 and this is 19, um, we can go through and start figuring out what we need to know. Well, we, it's asked for CBF, where I've already found that out to be 19. It asks for arc BCD. Well, that's going to be the entire circle except 68. So you can do 360 minus 68 to get 292. So this angle is 292 because your entire circle is 360, so you just subtract away you don't have. You could have also added 112 plus 38 plus 142, and that would have given you 292. And then finally, you asked for this angle right here. Well, you, know, you found out this was 34 because it was an inscribed angle, thus half the uh, arc 68, and then 19 was half the arc 38. And so 34 plus 19 is 53, so this angle is just going to be 180 minus 53, which is 127. So that's 127, and you are done.